हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मनोज भारती एंड आई एम गोइंग टू टीच केमिस्ट्री टू क्लास सेवन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड व्हेन अ सॉलिड डिजोल्व इन लिक्विड द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द लिक्विड रिमेन्स अनचेंज इन दैट वीडियो वी हैव कंपेयर्ड द शुगर विद द सल्यूट पार्टिकल्स एंड द वॉटर विद द सॉलमेंट पार्टिकल्स नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट फिजिकल चेंजेस एंड केमिकल चेंजेस A physical change is temporary and reversible. For example, changing of ice into water. Changing of ice into water is an example of physical change. Here only the physical appearance of the substance is changed. Only the state of matter of substance is changed. We can convert ice into water and water into ice. So it is a temporary as well as reversible change. However, a chemical change is permanent and irreversible. Students consider the example burning of paper. Burning of paper is an example of chemical change. Here, once you burn the paper, it is converted into ashes, light, heat, and carbon dioxide. So, once the product is formed, you cannot use the products to obtain the reactants back so it is an example of irreversible and permanent change in the physical change no new substances are formed as there is only change in the state of matter of the substance but in case of the chemical changes new substances are formed as the paper is being converted to ashes light heat and carbon dioxide In the physical change, mass of substance does not change. That is, the mass of the ice would be equal to the mass of the water. But in case of chemical changes, mass of individual substances is altered. Here, what are the individual substances? These are ashes, heat, light, and carbon dioxide. Well, students, can a physical and chemical change happen together? Yes. Burning of candle involves a physical as well as chemical change. In the burning of candle, both the changes, physical change and chemical change occurs simultaneously. Here, the melting of the wax is a reversible change. As the melt as the wax firstly melts into liquid form and again it solidifies here. So there is the a change in the state of the matter so here the physical change takes place also a part of the wax vaporizes and is used as a fuel to burn the candle to burn the wick of the candle and the new substances formed are carbon dioxide and water vapors which you cannot see as these are in the air so here both the changes occurs simultaneously physical change as well as chemical change physical change as the melt as the wax melts and chemical change as the some part of the wax is used as a fuel to burn the wick of the candle to produce light heat and carbon dioxide and water vapors and next topic is physical and chemical changing involving change in energy on the behalf of change in energy we can classify the changes into two categories that are exothermic changes and endothermic changes exothermic changes are those which involve the evolution of heat the changes in which heat is evolved or given out is called exothermic change and endothermic changes are those in which heat is absorbed an example of exothermic change is burning of wood. Here, the energy of the product is always lesser than the energy of the reactants in the exothermic change. But in the endothermic change, the energy of the product is always greater than that of the reactants. And you can take the example of boiling of water in endothermic change. 
student i would like if you would comment some more examples of exothermic and endothermic changes in the comment section below thank you and have a nice day